Hey guys, uh, today is a very special day, not only because it's uh, very sunny and warm, uh, the birds are singing, it feels like spring finally came to us, but also because we want to show you a barn. Uh, it's really a jewel now, our property, because it's the old, we think that it's the oldest building and we will uh, tell you later why. Uh, so yeah, let's tour it together. Let's go. Feels so good, really so warm. Yeah, nice weather. And this is the farm, uh, the barn. This Where? is the barn. I think you just filming me like that. Like that. I like that. Okay. <laughs> it's it's really huge and very spacious and. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right now I want to open this door. It's like I never tried to do this. I think it will be <laughs> a little bit challenging work. I hope it will be quite fast. So, yeah. And this farm is actually the third phase of our project. So we will come to renovating this farm like in 10 this years, building. I guess. This building. building. Oh, farm. Ah. Building. building. This building. In 10 years or more. But it's really like... It's a lot of work, but it's, but it's really nice. It's worth saving. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's, let's do it. Go. <laughs> do you see some? I know it's for it's some a, insects. It's a nest for the spiders, I guess. Yeah, you know. This is and, bees? Uh, no, wisps. Wasps. 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 As I already mentioned, this barn is the oldest building on the farm uh, because we have found it already on the maps of uh, 1777. Uh, as you can see here, at least something was built here on this place. And uh, we have also, we had a, a map of 1750 and there was nothing still on the map. So it was built in between 1750 and 1777 this barn or something was built here <laughs> we don't know on the map of 1841 you can clearly see the barn itself and the house the main house to the left of the barn as you may know we don't have a lot of photos of uh, the farm but the ones that we have already give a very interesting insight uh, into how the farm looked back then and how it changed comparison to what we have right now and how it looked and we want actually to to restore to the how it looked before so, let me show you so let's start from this photo that's one oh, Annika came hey Annika <laughs> so this photo you can see that I think this I don't know the when uh, the date when it was made but I think it's before the uh, before the second world war because the main building is still has only the ground floor so it's one story building here you see and this is a barn that we are talking about it also changed a lot here you can see that the walls of the barn are still made out of clay and wood and um, yeah the roof also changed i don't i can't see it looks like this these two sides are roof tiles but this is straw looks like i don't know so that's how uh, this barn looked before the second world war and we also have a picture of of how it looked after the second world war because you can see the building was already extended and this is a barn so this wall was already rebuilt and now it's brick wall uh, there the door here 
didn't change. It looks like it, it looks the same. And also the roof, uh, roof, the side roof here changed. They rebuilt it. Uh, one of our subscribers, Claudia. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, I was not ready um, with with knife, with gun. I need to buy a new one, and also for string is quite hard grass for the string, so it takes a little bit more time. I started to cut the grass next to the gate of the barn and I needed to quickly change my position in order to be able to talk, to continue talking and also very important in communication to be heard. One of our subscribers, Claudia, uh, not so long ago she shared her research material, her and her colleagues, about the farms in the Flemish part of the Belgium and it was really interesting. I'm very grateful. Thank you very much for taking your time to share it. I'm still going through the materials and these research materials are about the farms, how they were built, why they were built with these materials, uh, what elements they contained and I learned a lot also about our farm. As you have seen they built initially this barn with mud, with clay and wood but then they rebuilt after the Second World War with bricks. The house built out of bricks and tiles was twice as expensive as mud house. Uh, yeah, not everyone had money for that and uh, the barns were still uh, built with uh, clay and wood. It even became at some point of time in the 19th century, if you are building with clay, it became synonym to you are building for poor. <laughs> so let's see. It works! <laughs> oh. so, Let yeah. it be light. I, I expect that it will be much harder, but it just yeah, hook here and hook here. Nice. So, first, yeah. first time opened, I guess, in 10 or 15 years. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe more. <laughs> Come, let's show how cool it is. So, <laughs> it's really a lot of space. And a lot of check this out. Timber frames. The rafters are just so cool. Yeah. Three levels, so it's the main one here, then the second level and the third one. Yeah. Oh, Anik is also here. No tour without Anik. I think that it was just place where Anik lived. Yeah, it not filmed, it was at the early beginning, few tiles here was miss, missing, and Anaki used it to go here. It was covered by uh, planks, and it was with uh, hay on top. Mm -hmm. So and yeah, uh, I just remove all this stuff and fix it because ah, you see, clay. this clay was damaged yeah. by the water that was coming. And it also uh, also was problem here. A lot of tiles missed here, and water just go. And you can see the state of this bulk. And here it's like I yeah just re replace tiles, but, but yeah, the uh, like, with this completely rotten. Yeah, this one. Oh, 
looks like this one too should be replaced or yeah so this uh, we think with Elia that this wall was uh, not rebuilt so this was from the beginning of the century I guess it's uh, uh, it was it's left like that it's my shoulder because uh, the wall over there and over there the opposite ones they were rebuilt with bricks may maybe to make the structure more stable and more yeah, sturdy just, for the roof just, tiles just uh, rebuilt <laughs> Yeah, but this wall is actually from the beginning of the century. And also, we no, it's older. Elia, older. we'll show you. You can see it's 1848. Blah blah blah. Carvings. 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 I have no idea what does it mean. And the next one is 1878. But maybe someone from our subscribers can help us with all this carvings i don't know uh, the name for this mark or not not this one but they use special marks on wood to, yeah, also this to show how yeah how to connect pe uh, we have a lot of carvings on the beams here as well yeah over here name and number yeah and if we assume that it's year it's like no. 499. <laughs> I don't <laughs> it's, think it's so. very ancient. So you see also here carving. Maybe Jared, Red, the, 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 I don't know. I'm just inventing something, but it just gives such a feeling, an amazing feeling that someone probably already dead, but we still have have his writing and we are thinking about him. What? did he do how did he live uh well yeah when we are talking with Zilia, what would you like to go for a day into the future or into the past for us it's into the past just to yeah, see the how past. the people it's yeah quite interesting to see. how they lived how their how the household was organized very curious so you know, so this is the door <laughs> that's how you enter this barn from the backyard <laughs> Definitely we need to fix this door before. Yeah. <laughs> you can come from here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so yeah. A little bit broken. Yes. Just a bit. Just so, a bit. Okay. Can be fixed. In no time. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, we have some storage here but it's, it's quite new it's built from old old beams yeah. old beams and but it's new it's, and this is storage with some yeah wheat huh? wheat yeah and it's, and it's what it's like yeah you can see it's like that yeah mm. ah yes yeah, yeah I see. a lot of wheat and yeah i don't know what to do with all this wheat it's like uh yeah i try to plant it but after i check uh it's like uh the problem is that it can grow only after a uh, few years if it's more than five ten years it doesn't grow so it's dead it's for dead. A, forever <laughs> so but yeah also i i think in why we have a lot of uh wheat here it looks like and it's I'm, not yet eaten yeah yeah it's not yet eaten because it's a lot of mice i think that it's anike hunting fields here's anike always next to us <laughs> next to us yeah yeah a long time ago i saw him inside mice yeah a no mouse? mice anike she ah, was inside okay. so it's, it's how did she get in uh, there the are some holes or from the top it's like nothing not so the maybe top. it's true she's actually using this to catch yeah, and, mice and, and that's, and that's why, why she's big <laughs> <laughs> yeah i have no idea but it's just what my assumption also talking about uh wheat and this week 
episode sponsor Wand Room. You were asking a lot in the comments what Ilya is listening to while uh, doing some Terrier's renovation jobs and sometimes it is music but lately he is listening mainly to the lectures on Wand Room. And we were very happy when Wondrium suggested to become uh, this week's episode sponsor. Wondrium is a subscription video service uh, full of documentaries, uh, online courses, uh, podcasts, short videos for all ages and interests. Their carefully created collection of um, videos and lectures is academically comprehensive, thoroughly researched and entertaining, and, and also being held by very engaging uh, experts. <laughs> they say that Wondrium is a place for minds that wonder, and I couldn't say better. It's very hard to find something as accessible and easy to use as Wondrium website and its application that allow to listen and learn on the go, as Ilya does. Yeah, right now I am listening a uh, uh, big history of uh, humans. Yeah, I don't remember the name. Don't show <laughs> your so, password, <laughs> secret password. Yeah. Oh, like yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm listening to this big history of human civilization. And human. And I yeah. know <laughs> so and uh, they told that amount of wheat which uh, they found inside uh, yeah, discovery places uh, indicate how civilization was progressive or how rich and prosperous. Yeah. yeah, I really like this application because here is no really nice connection, and yeah, I can just download this lecture and listen it after. For me, it's how many did you listen already? Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, nice. Yeah, I work a lot, so <laughs> listen, and it's really nice. It's uh, yeah, nice lectures. If you are somebody or somebody from your family members who never stops learning, who are always looking for new documentaries, new courses, new information to extend your knowledge and also to learn something new every day, then Wondrium is for sure the right place for you. Go to wondrium.com slash dehoover and check it out yourself. They are offering a free trial for their viewers. I'll put a link in the description for your convenience below. Please check it out. You won't regret it. Also, we are lucky that we have this cover area here. So, uh, yeah, it's not only storage space, but it's a, <laughs> it's a storage space. For now, it's a storage space. But we are lucky that they have this cover space because it's also protected all the wall from the rain yeah, it's a really nice protection and uh, that's why we still have this wall and it's not completely rotten rotten and damaged by the rains because here you can see where it was a hole in the roof you can see how damaged yeah the oh, wall is this. this was the initial look of this wall oh do you see we have some Be careful. It looks like torture tool. <laughs> no. I think if you're not working hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, Okay. I have no idea what it is. I have some assumptions, Ria. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I, I'm not sure what the purpose of this uh, barn was. My assumption that it was used to store the harvest. Back then, the size of the barn and other outbuildings was also a sign of how prosperous the farm used to be. Uh, for example, if their barn was attached and was rather small, and it was not that big farm that didn't ha didn't need enough storage space. But um, if it was a big barn built apart, 
the, it was a sign that it needed much more space to store their harvest. Looks like it's our case because the barn is very huge, very spacious. It has the gate and uh, through this gate I think they were opening so the tractor or some car could, with horses could enter with the harvest. Yeah, that's, that's of course only my assumptions. I'm trying to find out, I'm asking the neighbors, I'm looking into the research materials. I'm very curious actually how it used to be back then, but it's like one piece of information, one piece of information, and then next day I learned something new and maybe it's completely different from what I learned before and tell, told you before. <laughs> so I could make mistakes, please excuse me. And if you have some information or research materials, please share them, I would be very grateful. Uh, we haven't decided yet what what we want to do with this barn. So it used to be some for story storing, I guess, the harvest, as I've already mentioned. Yeah, it was, but right now what we want to do. Ouch! <laughs> In the comments, you were saying like, "Oh no, no more straw," and now <laughs> you see, <laughs> we still have a lot, a lot of straw to remove. Also, do you see somebody lives here? Like, oh my god, Ilya, who? I don't know, it's uh, eggs and... Okay. Finding a shelter. Yeah, it's qu quite a lot of problem with uh, this barn. So. so let's start just counting all the problems. Yeah. <laughs> We're just no. first one. So it's some tiles there and yeah. The rough tiles mm -hmm. should be replaced and also rafters. Over there you may see that the tile is uh, cracked over there as well. There, there, uh, but yeah. Over it's... there as well. So you can see it's completely rotten, it needs to be replaced completely. Yeah. But yeah, it yeah, can be. I, I, I'll do it a little bit later, but it's my plan just to be lazy Ilya. yeah yeah <laughs> i'm too late no uh i want to yeah to fix these tiles and, but we need to fix also the rotten uh rafter and okay rotten this, this was the first one many many yeah. tiles to yeah replace. it's like many tiles also you see it's like with always loose bricks so and also uh yeah this beam should be uh, yeah it's quite strong it's still quite strong but it should be replaced or replaced i don't know replaced or fix it or we need to yeah but Ilya, this is for later yeah when we start working on the building oh yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, right, in right. between repair yeah right now we need just to yeah to make it watertight. Ma maintain it a little bit, just to keep it in that space. There are a lot of problems, and some of them we need to solve in near future or control. For example, for these bricks, it's like yeah, it should be rebuilt, it, but in general it stays as a loose. Yeah, we will them. do it once we start working rebuilding this barn. So it's not something for the yeah. nearest future. But they are all Renova loose. Renovating. Yeah, renovating. But they are all loose. No, no? no. not all. Not oh, all this but one. Some of them. So yeah, also. The Wait thing. a second. I wanted to show the salts. Yeah. Here you can see how the salts are being building up. Building up. Yeah, I guess yeah. is the right word. Building up on the bricks. <laughs> it's really cool, like snow. Looks like snow. You see. But they are very, um, yeah, damaging for their plastering. If you will put plaster on it, not here, but in general. And here as well, you see, looks like snow. We have a lot of salts. Okay, <laughs> this no, was oh, oh, another one. Another one. This one, it's also wood and, and with wood water, so uh, yeah, it should be total renovation to fix that. Right now we just need to control, yeah, to pay attention. Yeah, to somehow remove water, so to stop rising damp. Yeah, yeah. yeah, also they put this, I'm not sure that it's 
uh, the best solution but uh, they put plastic and put hay <laughs> hay a lot of hay yeah yeah on the plastic and here it's like the same issue here uh, so it's like also for wood it was beam but right now it's totally rotten yeah this was my quick fix i just remove all plastic near the walls to yeah to, to let it breathe to let it breathe and, and evaporate also th there it's i just remove straw and yeah plastic also from outside we remove last year we remove all grass and i think we need to can to continue that just to make breeze and just evaporate water as much as possible so they will so have yeah. possibility for their air circulation a better air circulation and just to keep it dry because the problems you see it's everywhere here is much a bit better but you see all rotten wood yeah um, i remember it's it. just so, but yeah. here mm -hmm. just check this beam and over there is the same situation. So yeah. So yeah, but it's uh, in long term right now. We need just to preserve everything. Preserve. Preserve everything as much as yeah. possible. And yeah. Oh, do you see tiles? Somebody prepared tiles. Over there, you see the tiles <laughs> laying. <laughs> it's on heights. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit of dust here. In my imagination, when we will start rebuilding, we will just remove the sheets behind and place a glass, and it will be so beautiful. Yeah. In my imagination, when I saw it, I was so impressed with all this wooden timber framing and the joints to exist connection out uh, i'm not sure that it's a really nice connection <laughs> <laughs> but i like it still it's it complicated is. it looks very complicated yeah this one looks quite weak but weak yeah well uh, who knows you know there are a lot of issues to address when we will start uh, renovating and rebuilding this farm and we will do it with an architect taking into account we want wood like to preserve as much as possible of the wooden timber frame also i would love to preserve this wall maybe cover it ouch i don't know maybe cover it with glass yes at least some sections that are in a good shape maybe uh, maybe not all yeah but the one that are sturdy uh, yeah sturdy <laughs> in the quotes but still to place them under the water, uh, under the water. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's great, yeah. Oh, to place them under the glass. I think it's. Uh, yeah, do you see spider leaf oh, here? Yeah, it's a big one, a huge. Closer, closer. Ah, I yeah, don't yeah. see. It's like you can see only one leg. Oh my God, it's huge. I leave it, leave it, leave him. So, yeah, but this one we won't keep. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Was it damaged. Looks, it looks so nice. I would, I would, if you say so, I would keep it. Just clay, old. So yeah, huge and beautiful. Even the first floor was built. <laughs> was built. 